Hello and welcome to Battle Heavyweights, our final analysis. All right, we just got through eight rounds. And the purpose of these rounds was to highlight the key differences between these functions so that we are comfortable knowing which one we should use in any given situation, right? We talked about the difference uh, when there are multiple matching rows. VLOOKUP stops at the first one, sum ifs uh, returns the sum of all matching rows. Um, equivalent values when stored as different data types don't match to VLOOKUP. They do match with some ifs. We talked about column order. Column order matters to VLOOKUP. Column order does not matter to some ifs. We talked about the return text issue. VLOOKUP can return text or numbers. Some ifs can return a number because it returns the sum. We talked about what happens when there are no matching rows. We talked about what happens when we insert a new worksheet column between the lookup and return columns. VLOOKUP breaks. Some ifs does not. We talked about what happens when there are multiple lookup columns. VLOOKUP is designed around a single lookup value. Some ifs is designed to handle multiple lookup columns. And we talked about what happens when we do range lookups, all right? And the purpose of this really was to, to understand their differences so that when we are faced with some kind of a task, we're comfortable knowing which one we would use, why, how, when, and where we should use these two amazing functions. So Jeff, like this is like eight different things. It's too complicated. I can't remember it all. Can you just boil this down to a simple statement for me? Yes. Here's the way that I personally think about it. Okay. I think about it like this. If the value I'm trying to return is a number, I prefer some ifs. Otherwise, I'm going with VLOOKUP. That's a simple way for me to remember it. All right. And then we can get into these little details depending on, um, you know, which, which specific task we're trying to accomplish. But, but in general, that's the way I think about these lookup functions or these two functions. If the value I'm trying to return is a number, I go with some ifs. Otherwise, I'm going with VLOOKUP. So do you think you got this? Do you? All right, I'm going to test. I'm going to test you to find out, all right? What we're going to do is we're going to do three applications, all right? So we just want to pretend that we're at our, at our desk. We open up Excel. We have a task. How do we know which one to use? That's the whole purpose of this thing. So let's try application one. We have a unique item ID and we want to return the product manager. All right, okay, we see that the product manager is a text string. So let's go through our thought process here. Can VLOOKUP return text? Yes. All right, so I could use VLOOKUP. Can some ifs return text? No. So which one are we going to use? VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Go find this. In table one, return the value in the one, two, three, fourth column and zero for exact match, close function, and fill it down and we got it, okay? Let's go to the next one, application two. Here, we're trying to return a price. Let's examine this data type. It's a number. Can VLOOKUP return a number? Yes. Can some ifs return a number? Yes. So at this point, we could technically use either. But then let's look at this. We don't have a single lookup value. We don't have the item ID. All we have is class and subclass, multiple lookup columns. So we see that we're going to use some ifs. VLOOKUP supports a single lookup column. Some ifs re report, uh, supports multiple lookup columns equals some ifs. We want to add up this column of numbers. We only want to include those rows where the class column is equal to our class and where the subclass column is equal to our subclass. Close function, enter, fill it down, and we got it. Okay, good. All right, let's go to the third application. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Product manager is what we want to try to return. Product manager is a text string. Could we use VLOOKUP? Yes. Can we use some ifs? Hmm. No. No, some ifs is a multi-condition summing function. It returns a number. Okay. So we clearly can't use some ifs. Let's look at this. Interesting, we have multiple lookup columns. We don't have a single lookup value, we have multiple lookup columns. So we clearly can't use VLOOKUP. So we're like, okay, no problem, we'll use some ifs. And then we're like, ah, I just remembered that we have a text string. I clearly can't use some ifs. We go up here, all right, that, I clearly can't use VLOOKUP. And you see this circular loop that we're in. We clearly can't use either function, so what are we supposed to do? Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. These two functions are not competitors at all. Wait, what? 
No, these, these are not rivals. These two functions are allies. They're friends. They can work together uh, to help us accomplish our objective here. Wait, what are you talking about? You mean use both functions in a single formula? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's a classic nested function situation where the function results of one function are the, uh, is the argument of another function. In other words, one function is the argument of a second function. Right? And this will work in this case because we have a unique numeric ID and no duplicate values or no duplicate rows based on our lookup columns. And when that is true, we can use both of these functions. So let's just break it down, equals sum ifs. We want to add up this item ID. Wait, what? Yeah, we're going to use sum ifs to determine the item ID, and we're going to send that into VLOOKUP. We only want to include those rows where the class column is equal to our class and where the subclass column is equal to our subclass. Close function and enter. So we get AX is product 101. AX is item ID 101. We're going to use sum ifs to do its thing. Now let's use that as the first argument of VLOOKUP. So we want VLOOKUP to go find this, whatever that returns. And we want to go find it in table 3. We want to return the value from the 1, 2, 3, 4th column and 0 for exact match. Close function. Is this going to work? I don't know. I hope so. Enter. Yes, it works. AX is MCT. AX is MCT. Let's go ahead and fill this down. And we got it. All right. So what is the point? The point is this. These two functions each have their core competencies, and we can use them both um, to, to, uh, to accomplish this, this particular uh, workbook. All right. These two uh, functions are not competitors. They're both important. They're both critical Excel functions. And I hope that this series uh, helps you feel more comfortable understanding the differences between these functions and when to use each in any given uh, workbook. All right. So listen, this, this whole series comes, uh, comes from a single lesson in the Excel University series. So if you'd like to learn more about that or take a, a, a training course, online training course, feel free to check out the website, excelluniversity.com. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.